everyone. My name is Shafana Davis, and I'm here to talk to you about how same-sex marriage is wrong and how God intended marriage to be. It's my wedding day. I'm so excited and sad at the same time. All my family is showing up, but my partner family isn't. They just don't approve of our marriage. Do you know why? I am a Christian first. I was raised as a Southern Baptist as a little girl. I always dreamed of my wedding day and most of all, who I was marrying. It never crossed my mind what sex they would be, because all I saw and was taught was man and woman get married. But in today's society, so many things have changed, and one of them is who we can marry. As a Christian, I hold marriage at a very high standard. Most of all, I value how God wants our lives to be played out. God has set ways and laws to adhere by. Marriage consists of vows that we take before him, which is very serious. God intended for those to vows to be shared between a man and a woman, not same sex. We have to educate and inform our people on how God viewed marriage to stop people from believing that same sex marriage is right. Today, I am going to focus on marriage. Not just your typical marriage, but same sex marriage. What we as Christians can do to stop society from believing that same-sex marriage is right, why this is not right in God's eyesight, and how we can help educate our future generation and help them understand that same-sex marriage is not okay. Same-sex marriage is not how God wants the people to t look at marriage. The, I the issue has, effect on, has an effect on people experiencing life. According to scripture, <clears throat> marriage is shared between a man and a woman. The solution is to educate people on how God intended marriage to be, so they can stop same-sex marriages. According to my communications textbook, we need to see things through the lens of God, and this type of marriage is not what God sees. We as Christians can stop society from believing that same-sex marriage is right by educating people through scripture. According to scripture, in the beginning, God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. This is what makes marriage possible. If God didn't want us to marry, he would have created us asexual just like his angels. Just as the Christians ple pledged to battle what they took as an assault on our values when President Obama endorsed same-sex marriage in the state of Georgia, we need to come together and take action. Now let me take the time to explain to you why same-sex marriage is not what God intended. According to Matthew 19, 4 and 6, God said, Have you not read that he who made them from the beginning made them male and female? And said, For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer one, two, flesh, two, but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let no man put asunder. God further established the foundation of marriage by the special creation of woman from man. After the Lord had made Eve from Adam's rib, he brought her to Adam, who said, This, is, this at last is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. Men and women are related by image and by blood. Therefore, we yearn for one another. Lastly, we must help our future generation understand that same-sex marriage is not right by educating them. One saying that sticks with me from my mother is, if you knew better, you would do better. What society is trying to do is make people think that this is okay. We must stop this through scripture and how we bring up our children. My question is, whatever happened to tradition, to, to tradition, to tradition, sorry. We have led by example and show our, we must lead by example and show our children and future children what marriage is supposed to be. It's all about modeling. Christian learn, Christians, um, children learn through experience. So we must model God's way of marriage. As you can see, marriage, God values marriage. And there is a right and wrong way to conduct this union. So as you think back to when you dreamed about your, about getting married, was it with an opposite sex or same? Do you now understand that same-sex marriage is not right and was never God's intention for today's society? 
I challenge you to go out and spread the gospel on marriage to help our current and future generation understand what God expects from us when it comes to marriage. As stated before, I'm a Christian first, and I know that God loves union between man and woman. I hope you all understand what marriage is and how important it is to God and how it's important that we withhold his values of marriage. I thank you for your time. Thank mm -hmm. you.